Hey guys, welcome back to Ninjago News TV, or not Ninjago News TV, Daily Roller. And yeah, so basically I wanted to take a look at the Ninjago Legacy sets in greater detail. So I'm putting the images here since LEGO has officially revealed these sets. So I hope I'm not going to get copyright striked. So yeah. But anyways, first set here is the Samurai Mech. And this set is actually not bad. It's been getting a lot of hate. It's a little bare and I can understand that it could have been a little bit more bulky. Definitely not as good compared to the original. But I still think it is pretty cool. And it's a nice mini version of the original set. The minifigures are pretty nice. You know, I'll be talking about the minifigures in a separate video coming Sunday. But yeah, I think that I like the colors and all. It is a pretty good set for the most part. It's, you know, not the best thing in the world. Next set is the Golden Dragon, which also has been getting a little bit of hate. This one, I, I can't tell. Is that a brick built head? I don't think that's a brick built head. But this is pretty cool. I think this is definitely nice. It's a small dragon, but it's not horrible. It does have the, you know, it does have nice limbs. It's built pretty nicely. I like the sword details. That's all very cool. It comes with some pretty nice minifigures. And, you know, the head this time along also shoots studs, so that is pretty cool. Yeah, once again, amazing minifigure collection selection. It's a great deal for $20. Next set here is Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile. Mixed feelings about this set. Kai's Blade Cycle is definitely a downgrade, whereas Zane's Snowmobile is certainly an upgrade compared to the original one. Kai's Blade Cycle does not really scream Blade Cycle like it did, like the original set did. The original set certainly screamed Blade Cycle with it having all those different blade designs, this one is kind of lacking it. It's kind of lacking those red details. It just doesn't really stand out. Zane's Snowmobile, on the other hand, is pretty amazing. I love how they've, you know, just taken this set, taken this design and made it more complex. It just looks really cool. Minifigure selection is pretty good for the most part. But, you know, there are some problems I have with some of the minifigures. Cough, cough, Lasha. But we'll talk about those later. Next set is Jay's Storm Glider, which is a phenomenal set. Definitely an upgrade over the original. Love it. Just a lot of more, a lot more detail. It is amazing, you know, if you thought the original Storm Glider was good, and I had the original Storm Glider, it was pretty good. This set is just simply stunning. And once again, I think the minifigure selection is pretty good for the most part, with the exception of Cough Cough Lasha, who, you know, not the fact that they included him, it's just the minifigure sucks. But, yeah, beyond that, this also includes the Nunchuck of Light Nunchucks of Lightning. It's pretty cool, they're using the Dragon Bone Blade hilt for it this time, and I think that's definitely a nice design choice. Overall, Storm Glider looks really nice. Next that we have here is Cole's Earth Driller, which is very similar to the original. I think it looks pretty good, you know, considering I like the original set, it looks pretty good. But the main difference here is that Giant Stone Warrior. And it's been a long time, but we've finally gotten the Giant Stone Warrior that we are all wanting. This Giant Stone Warrior looks really good, and I love the way they built it. Even down to that mask part, they do use bat wings on the side, and I think that's a really interesting design choice. Love the way how they made this giant stone warrior. It's definitely something that you'd want to get. Nice colors and all, nice design. It looks really good for the most part. There's just nothing else to say. Love the design choice. Nice minifigure selection too. Awesome set. And then what we have next is the monastery, which I've kind of already talked about a lot. So I'll try to keep my, uh, keep my opinions brief. But basically the monastery is really good. And I think it's certainly an upgrade over the original monastery. If you could even call that a monastery. I love the designs, I love the door area. This also comes with all six ninja, plus Wu and a Skulkin, so it's a really nice deal. You can just get the set and get all the ninja and finish that collection. Overall, the build is pretty good, and the minifigure selection is certainly worth, it's the best deal probably of the way. And then our last set, but not least, is the Ultra Dragon. Again, this set has been receiving a lot of hate, and I've already said this once, I really do like the Ultra Dragon. It's not as good as the original one, but it is very unique in its own way. And I love the paper wings and the brick-built heads. Yeah, a lot of people have seen that the problem with the brick-built heads, but I think they're pretty cool. A little bit cluttered, like a little bit big in that area behind Lloyd. Not really sure what to call it. I think that's supposed to be a handle or something. The tail is also very nice, and the minifigure selection for the most part is good, being very similar to that of the original Epic Dragon Battle, in the sense that it includes Garmin, Lloyd, and Wu. The different, the only thing that I wish is that, you know, this set had an, an exclusive minifigure. That could have been Pythor, you know, there was no real reason for him to be in the Storm Glider. Would have been nice to see him be in exclusive minifigure to that set. And then last, we do have the Monastery Training Set. Very small set, but not a bad set, actually, you know. And it's pretty cool. Just two minifigures for really cheap. I think that's a good deal. And yes, it, I feel like this would be the perfect companion to the Monastery Set. I like the details, the little armor in the back and all this other stuff. It is a small, but not a bad set, actually. And then last, I wanted to talk about the new spinners. 
and I've seen so I've seen some videos of these, and these new spinners seem absolutely phenomenal, right up there with the original spinners. They're pretty much just like the original spinners, but they actually go above and beyond in the sense that they have customization features, and they actually look like tornadoes. They do spin also, which I think is very, very cool. I love these different customization features. I think they're attack, defense, and speed. Basically, they're different parts which you can add onto the spinner, and I think that's very, very unique. I also love the overall shape. You just stick a minifigure in and spin them, and I think that's really cool. It's a really nice design idea. So yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap up my this video. These are my final thoughts on the Ninjago Legacy sets. Spinners, we'll be talking about the minifigures later. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone everyone you know, and I will see you next time.